Hello everyone, and welcome back to Little Misfortune. I'm still in recovery for surgery, but um, I couldn't wait, man. <laughs> I got well and rested enough, and then I had to jump back in. And we've got our cursor, and I've turned down the volume just a little bit so I can be heard a little bit over, but we should be good, we should be good. With the trees and the birds and the animals. Dangerous animals, Miss Fortune. You might run into a fox. A fox? Like Benjamin? Yes, but all foxes are evil, so keep your eyes open. Uh, all right. I don't trust you, buddy. Whoa, what's this? What's this? A door? It's the Blair Witch! Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. Hmm, interesting. I'll keep it. Hey, what do you have there? Nothing. <laughs> Stay back, Miss oh. Fortune. <gasps> what is it? A wild, dangerous fox. Wait, I recognize that black tail. It's Benjamin. It doesn't matter. Attack it before it kills you. Nah, I don't think Benjamin will kill me. <laughs> Hello, is your name Benjamin? Do you want to play with me? Oh no, don't go! Huh. Oh. Oh, buddy. What a relief. We are safe now. Let's keep playing my game. Okay. There's a magical cave nearby. You need to find it. A magical cave? Okay. <laughs> Kinda. <sighs> it looks like Benjamin likes to paint. That's pretty cool. I like that in a fox. <laughs> Focus, Miss Fortune. We need to keep going. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> okay. So this was like a little protection thing. This is getting extreme. Oh, the police and falling rocks. And a person who got crushed by a falling rocks. Ah, oh, is this the magical cave? It doesn't look that magical. Just wait until you go inside. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. I didn't. He I sounded creepy as hell. What does this sign mean? Oh, I don't know. Sparkle? Ah, cool. So, whenever you're ready. I'll just stay in the forest. But then you won't find the eternal happiness. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, let's go in the damn cave. Ah, oh, I can't wait to see the magic inside. This cave is huge! Echo! <laughs> well, let's explore the cave. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. There was no echo. It was me. You're a real <laughs> comedian, Miss Fortune. Thank you. <laughs> Man, I hate the narrator, but Little Miss Fortune is great. It was a what hemi. It was what? a hemi in a car. Me something? I'm not sure. A hemi in a hemi. What's this? A hamster party? Oh my a god. Magical hamster party. I know you love parties. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> oh. Can we go inside? 
I don't know. Let's go find out. A hamster strip club. Really? Really? Ooh, hamster fight! Are you going to do something about it? Hmm. Don't fight, you adorable thing. You have to kiss and make up. <laughs> There you go. Oh, please, sweetie, don't go. You <laughs> dropped something. Oh, are those mints? Those are Maybe not I mints. Should try one. Don't so try I can one. Keep my breath fresh. I'm a little lady, you know. Oh, no. <sighs> wow, I'm feeling really nice. That's not okay. Children shouldn't be taking drugs. People shouldn't be taking drugs, but definitely not children. Very quickly. Oh god. Yeah, that's about right. Ugh. Well, that wasn't an empty refreshment at all. Yeah, don't have another one. Are you alright, Miss Fortune? I'm okay. Let's go in the direction that the um the hamsters ran off in. Damn. another way out now. Hmm. These tiny cutie cars are killing me with their cuteness. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Agreed. Oh. Look at them. With their tiny cocktails and their tiny clothing. This is too cute for me. recognize her. She's the owner of the club back there. Really? Yes. Looks like she was robbed. Oh, I, I bet it was that hamster with the black mask. Yes, you're right. Looks like you helped the criminal escape. Aww. Oh, damn it. Does that mean I'm a criminal too? Of course it does. Oh, really? Please don't tell on me. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. I don't like the narrator. Excuse me, do you need assistance? No? Okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, we need to find a way out now. The eternal happiness is still out there. Okay, I'll look around. Hmm. I wonder what this button does. <laughs> Another fancy. <laughs> Good job. Miss Fancy. Fortune. You found the way out. Ah, oh, adorable. <laughs> Thank you. Sweet. Okay. I think we're good here. Um, let's climb the ladder. It sucks a bit that we accidentally helped that criminal escape, but that's the way it goes in games where choices matter. Stop. Squirrel speed, acorns. <gasps> this looks just like a movie I saw. Wound on TV. face. The world is mine. Guys, I'm telling you. 
I think you're right. We need to clear the way before we can proceed. But how? Why are they so big? Fire alarm over there. We need to activate it. Yeah, but how? With a slingshot. What slingshot? This slingshot. Ah, that slingshot. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Ah, look. I use these acorns as ammunition. That's really clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> I know, thank you. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Fortune. Yay! <laughs> so that doesn't explain why they're human sized, but okay. Oh, what have we got here? Squirrel spin? Hmm. Um, <laughs> oh dear. This looks like the science project Daddy has in the basement. Oh, God. I don't know why, but Mommy was really angry about it. Yeah, I bet. Ooh, fat stacks. That's a lot of cash. Is this the eternal happiness? Oh no. What makes you think that? Mommy said that mommy is the only thing that makes her happy. Well, your mommy is wrong. Oh, really? Okay. Maybe, but uh... They say money can't buy happiness, but you can sure make it easier to be happy. Money does, in fact, make the world go round, unfortunately. It's not a good system, but it is our system. Missing girl. Hey, you, on the other side of the screen. Yeah, what Listen, do you want? I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Will Miss Fortune really die? If so, how will she die? And when will the evil fox kill her? Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. Fuck you, narrator. Sketchy bastard. Think oh, I don't know. Miss Fortune, you made it. Congratulations. Patronize her. Thank you. Don't patronize Where are me. We? We're one step closer to the grand prize of eternal happiness. Great, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know. Don't worry. It's not far from here. Great. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go to the left. Man, this game makes me want to play um, Night in the Woods again. I think I might do Look, that soon. A missing kid. Oh man. Reminds me of the art of Big Eyes. I can't remember what the artist's name is, but it's basically there's a movie about it. And it's basically this artist whose husband pretended that he was making all of her art because the world was sexist back then and he was a jerk and was exploiting her for profit. And yeah, basically, she eventually got recognition, but really late in her life. And that sucks. It's kind of a story like about rippers. Maybe I should go back home. Bye. Ripping is not cool. Don't go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Really? Yes. Alright, um... <laughs> but yeah, check out Big Eyes Artist. Like, oh... Is that the girl on the poster? Hello. It is. Look, the color's the same. <gasps> She's dead. Oh, that sucks. Ugh, smells like Creepy. Misfortune. Watch your language. <laughs> okay. 
cuck. Ugh, smells like bull crap. Poo crap. Fortune. Watch your language. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Swim more. A unicycle. Get it? <laughs> Very clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. Phantasmagoria. The horror fair. Man, I would love to go to that. Phantasmagoria is coming to open field? That's so awesome! Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? Right. Don't play with my feelings now. Aww. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. Alright, I can't wait. <laughs> All these people with masks. <gasps> Fanta Maybe we could find... Right. Don't play with my... Let's focus on... Alright, I can't... <laughs> you know, if you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. Don't engage with that wild fox. I told you. Hide Foxes your child. Hide your children. Let me handle this. Andy, are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> Bail. <Look, laughs> don't go! Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. I don't All believe right. you. Right. Oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Kill Monday oh, Games. They're the Looks developer that makes this. Has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Huh. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. Are we going to the park? Yes. Okay. Such a pretty game, like, the is world is really well book? drawn. Miss Fortune. <laughs> what? <laughs> Language. Ah. That's hilarious. Slow down, you fuck, indeed. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. Aww. That sounds nice. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank it is. You. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. Ha, don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Boys! Oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> let's go find the prize and make Mummy proud. Yes. All these crows dying, all these creeps wearing masks. Hmm. Oh. It says, don't feed the birds. Ah, uh, okay. Nope. There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the bench. Death is alive and it's eating from you. Sign M. Hmm, interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Yes. Yeah, listen to this one. Balls hanging too low. No signature. Where are they hanging from? Oh, look, a drawing of a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune, let's go. All right. I don't like you, Mr. Voice. Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Oh dear. He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Too bad you don't have any fish to offer the seagull. They love fish, you know. 
Are you trying to make me feel guilty about the fish from earlier? I made a hard decision back there, and I stumped behind it. I understand, Miss Fortune. I'm just saying. Well, stop saying. Indeed. Would you like to ride the royal halls of the park? Yes. We will have some fun. Royal horse, you say? I'm a little princess, you know. Look at me. I'm on the horse. I horsey. Stop it. Oh. Oh. That was unfortunate. Are you all right? I'm okay. Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Of course. You are really tiny and you could break. I broke my arm once. So you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Why are there so many crows following me? I'm gonna ride it again. Just in case something different happens. Oh. Third time's a charm. You never know what'll be hidden in games like this. Oh. Okay, I think we're good. Hmm. Check out that duck. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. And look, he's carrying a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for reals. Would you like <laughs> to show me some of your dance moves? Hell yeah. Wait, wait, let the duck dance. We will do our dance moves. Of course, check this out. <laughs> oh dear. <coughs> it's okay, it's okay. That was unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. Oh, if you say so. That's not okay. Would you like to ride this one? It's like a tornado. Yes. <laughs> yes, I want to ride. Michael, stop! Ah, I can't hold that anymore! No. <laughs> oh no, misfortune. <laughs> That's not nice. Let's write it two more times. <laughs> oh. Yay, we did something at least. When the trees are naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. Weird. That's our second door. Mm. What are you Apple talking pie. about, Miss Fortune? Nothing. Maybe you can't see the dolls. Hide the children. It's creepy that you started walking away once I walked towards this you. This looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. <laughs> really? Mm. All right. Uh, I 
can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A oh, pet God. cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> I don't like the narrator. I think he's beyond suspicious. So, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure. I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great. Just answer as honestly as you can. All right. First question. Have you ever stolen anything? Yeah. I stole my friend's Swiss army knife once. I felt so bad, I buried it in the yard and never told him. Oh, I'm so sorry for the both of you. <laughs> Second question. Are you happy right now? Eh. I mean, I guess. Content. <laughs> I mean, nothing Ish. bad is happening right now. That makes me happy. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? I'm sure by certain people. I'm pretty sure mommy loves me because she hasn't left me. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. It looks like a regular cemetery. Oh, it's a friend with the cowboy hat. The one that speaks Japanese. Oh, shake this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, uh, okay. Nice. Hmm. Hero. His name was meant. ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, what is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint it's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish, all right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes, forever. No, use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. shovel. Okay. Yeah, the narrator's ah, evil. Okay. I mean, I always thought that anyway, but like that is confirmation if I ever saw it. This one said, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> yeah, let's dig it. We'll dig them all. Ugh, smells like hot dogs. I guess it's not the fish. Ugh. This one said, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> Poor Denise. Okay, let's see. Little Lulu, the first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna dig them all. Stephanie Quinn, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Hmm, erotic novel? <laughs> Talk about crazy! I just watched Cats the other night. Um, uh, that was not, not a good movie. How's the grape digging It was a super Ms. cringe Fortune. fest. Good. Barely coherent. This. Just not good. <laughs> um. It says, Paul died doing what he loved. It's in full. <laughs> yeah, yikes forever. Ah, <laughs> uh, no prize in here. Just a bunch of little bones. Oh. Ah, let's see. Roger the magpie. Never saw that window coming. Ha. Huh. I don't get it. Ah, uh, 
No present here. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. Eternal happiness. Is this the prize? But there's only a note. What? Yes, it says, I stole your eternal happiness. Signed, Benjamin. He didn't write that. He didn't. My eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. Oh. <laughs> Benjamin, did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. Come on, Benjamin. Give me back my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. Aww. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. Mm. Children in pain? Oh. Did you find something, Miss Fortune? No, you're imagining things. <laughs> Get right, narrator. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. All right. All right. I'm going to call this an episode here anyway. We found a couple of dolls. Um, we dug up a bunch of pet graves. And we're hot on the heels of Benjamin. And I don't believe he stole our eternal happiness. I think the narrator never put it there in the first place. Anyway, yeah, so if you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell to stay up to date with episodes, and the next episode should be pretty soon after this one. I'm probably going to record it right after this. But yeah, until next time, thanks for watching, everyone.